There is a new organization that is hoping to turn the pain of domestic violence into art that can help others out of bad situations. It's called Hush, but the goal is far from staying silent. It's bittersweet. Um, I look at, look at the sign and I keep glancing at, you know, just like around me and I have so many memories here. For Jasmine Barmore, it began as love at first sight as a teenager inside Northland skating rink. She would then go on to marry the young man seven years later. But after enduring years of domestic violence, it would finally end in one of the worst ways. When was that moment where you said, okay, this is it. Enough is enough. Like today, it ends now. He tried to kill me. <laughs> he stuck, he grabbed me and threw me in between the center council and the car and my head was like hanging in the back seat and he stuck four fingers down my throat. Now, it's Jasmine's mission to help other domestic violence sufferers put that pain in its place so they can continue moving forward in life. She created a nonprofit for the LGBTQ plus community and others called How Understanding Something Helps or HUSH. To be able to talk about your pain and to be able to cry about it and be and know that it's okay to cry, know that it's okay to admit this hurts me still. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to kind of humanize the conversation a little bit more. Detroit artist Kyra will join Jasmine for a first of its kind event for the organization at Riverside Marina Clubhouse in Detroit, where she will paint while Jasmine and other survivors speak about what they have been through. We're gonna have three guests come in and they're going to retell um, and kind of relive their experience of domestic violence. And um, they're gonna do that through a poem. And while they're doing that, we have an artist that's gonna be on hand and is gonna be painting the picture of what that pain looks like for that person. And then once everyone is done, we'll be having a silent auction. All the proceeds from the auction and the paintings will go toward creating a way out of a bad situation. We're gonna help them with their moving expenses to get them completely moved out of that total situation. And so through this connection and, you know, hopefully through art, um, what do you hope that this does in terms of healing? In order to heal from something, you've got to first own it. Um, you've got to accept that it happened to you. And um, after that, you have to get past the stage of embarrassment. Um, I stayed longer than I should have because I was embarrassed. And after you get past the embarrassment, you'll be able to talk about it. And talking is healing. If you would like to participate in the Painting My Pain fundraiser, it's Friday the 28th at 6.30 at Riverside Marina in Detroit. They will be taking donations at entry. And of course, COVID protocols will be in place. And we also want to mention if you or someone you know needs help, you're encouraged to call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE.